Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. All right, y'all, today we are gonna do some strawberry crafts using pretty much everything from Dollar Tree, including this beautiful strawberry card. Have you seen this card yet? Now, if you follow my Dollar Tree hauls, you've seen this because I was so excited when I found it. So this is like up front of the stores with like the handmade Mother's Day cards but it says nothing about like mom on the front. It just says, you are so very sweet. And it looks like a basket. Do you see that? It's like the strawberries are in a basket. I love this. I love to decorate like our kitchen and stuff with strawberries. And today I'm even wearing my little uh, strawberry earrings. <laughs> so, so I just have like a few different ideas of like some strawberry crafts. So as always, I am going to adjust the camera. That way you can see exactly what we're gonna do. Okay. Okay, first off, I have this like burlap stretched canvas. This is from Dollar Tree. It's an eight by 10. If you cannot find the burlap one, you can get the regular eight by 10 canvas and they sell the burlap. So, you, so what we're gonna do with this one, you can do the exact same thing with these right here. All right, we are gonna do like the reverse stretched canvas. So I'm gonna take a box cutter, sharp knife, scissors, whatever you have, and along the back side where the staples are, you're gonna cut that. You're gonna cut this burlap or canvas, whichever one you're using, you're gonna cut that off and cut right above the staples that's on the back. Okay. And you're gonna do all four sides. So once you have all four sides cut, you're then gonna peel that off. All right, <laughs> now that I got that separated, just kind of clean up the back just a little bit. All right, now if you want, you could take like a staple remover or a flathead screwdriver and pop all of those staples out of the back. I'm not gonna do that, but if you wanted to, you can. But what we're gonna do, you're not even gonna see this. This is gonna be covered up, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. All right, so now that we have this, I am now gonna take some white apple barrel paint. I always get my paint at Walmart. I love apple barrel paint. And this big old bottle is like $2. <laughs> and you'll see, I have Riley's Oat Avengers mat. I always paint on this. All right, I got my white paint. Really quick, all I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna paint this frame white. And you can paint this any color that you want, and you can also stain it. So when we're done, I'll kind of give you an idea if you like the paint or if you'd rather stain it. All right, so now that this is all painted up white, we're gonna take that same burlap that we cut off, or if you cannot find that one, you can just get you some burlap from Dollar Tree, wherever, or just use the canvas and paint it whatever color you want. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna turn it over. So here's the back side that we did not paint. I'm gonna lay the burlap. Here's the front of it. I'm gonna lay it down onto here. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take my hot glue gun. You can use a staple gun if you want. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna line the back of this with hot glue. All right, so now I'm gonna lay this burlap right down into that hot glue. And just be careful that you don't burn yourself. You just wanna make sure that it's pulled nice and tight. I'm going to do my bottom half too. I missed my big eye glue gun. <laughs> I've got to get a new one. All right, let me pull that tight. So now your choice, you can either take the box cutter and just cut that off the back 
or you can take scissors and cut off all the excess. So let's just try scissors, see how that works. I'm just gonna cut right along the side of my paint. All right, look how good that already looks. Now I want to take our card, our beautiful strawberry card. I love this so much. All right, what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> I'm gonna hot glue my card shut. You don't need a lot of hot glue. I'm just gonna do like a little bit, just kind of framing that out, just going around it. <laughs> two, I guess you could have just cut it off. Just cut it into two pieces. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, but that's all right. All right, so now I'm gonna put hot glue on the back of my card. Put it to the center of the burlap. Tap that down on there. Look, look how cute that is. And we're not done. I think I want to add like a bow or something to this. But look how cute. Look how simple and cute that is. All right. All right. I think I want to do some kind of like a messy bow. So I'm just going to take my twine. Just Dollar Tree twine. I'm gonna lay it down right here on my counter. Now I'm gonna take some different ribbons from Dollar Tree. Um, so they got the green and white gingham, red and white gingham, black and white gingham. All of this is Dollar Tree. I also have the burlap from Dollar Tree. Um, and then I have this little burlap that I love to use. Where's my lace? Maybe I want lace. And I have a little bit of the Dollar Tree uh, lace ribbon left and I'm just going to cut some strips all right so I'm going to cut two burlap two black and white I'm going to do two of the green and white. I'm going to do two <laughs> red and white. And it's always best to cut your ribbon a little bit long because you can always trim it up. Like that. Um, and I got all of those. And I think I'm going to try to add this lace to it. And then Dollar Tree also sells the burlap with the white polka dots, which I don't have right now, but I have this, which is very, very similar to the Dollar Tree one. So I'm gonna add, pretend this is the Dollar Tree with the white polka dots. But this is like a Walmart from Easter. All right, so all we're gonna do is, got my twine right here. I'm gonna take the burlap, kinda like lay it right in there. I'm gonna do the burlap again, and all you're gonna do is just make some X's. Just like that. And just crap. <laughs> Bailey's in the, on the couch snoring. All right, red and white, do that. I'm gonna throw in the lace. A little bit of lace again. The green. All right, so now all that is right there. I'm now just gonna pick up my little bundle here, turn it over onto my little piece of twine, and I'm gonna tie a good tight knot. First, kind of make sure everything's centered for you to make it really tight. All right, and then tie it really tight and add you just a couple little knots. All right, and then turn it over and then just start fluffing it out. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna take your little ends, either dovetail them or cut them at an angle. Just don't leave them flat. Don't leave it just straight across. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead really quick. I'm gonna dovetail all the burlap pieces. All right, and then the little gingham pieces, I'm just gonna cut all of those at an angle. All right, 
it. Now that you trimmed up everything, you just didn't want to fluff it. That way you can see all your pretty little um, strips of ribbon. All right, so I do, I have these little strawberry buttons or little strawberry, I guess like little buttons. Um, I want to like friend and subscriber from our channel sent these to me. So thank you so much. Now I do know like Walmart, Hobby Lobby, they all sell like little strawberry and little different like little buttons. So you could do that. Or from Dollar Tree, the strawberry sticker you could use what I'm about to do. But I'm gonna take this little strawberry little button. Right, I'm just gonna put some hot glue right there in the center. I'm gonna put that little strawberry right there. Yes, look how cute that is. That is so sweet. And like I said, if you don't have the little strawberry little buttons, if you can't find them, Dollar Tree has these beautiful strawberry stickers. You could use this right there instead. All right, so I'm gonna take this. All right, and now I'm gonna hot glue from a little bow up here, or a little bow bundle. Oh my goodness, oh, look how cute that is. That is so sweet. I love it, that is so cute. All right, so there's that one. All right, so our next thing, one of the little wooden crates from Dollar Tree. We're gonna take this up, <laughs> we're gonna take this, and once again, we're gonna paint it that same apple barrel white paint. You can use any white paint you want. I just have, this is what I use. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna paint this whole entire crate white, even including the inside, probably underneath too, just kind of everywhere. Two, you wanna make sure you get in between each slat. If you're using this one that's like the open slats, just make sure you get in between them. Because Dollar Tree has this one with the open slats, and they also have this one where they're closed. See that? It's like it's one. All right, so we're gonna take our little card here. This right here, the little you are so very sweet, it's an extra piece. So very carefully, just pull that off there and try not to bend it, which is, it's kind of hard, but try not to like crease it. All right, so I got my little sticker. It's just a sticker off there. All right, my battery died. <laughs> I was not paying attention. All I did, I just went ahead and I hot glued the card shut, just like we did for the picture. So now we're gonna take our little white crate and our card. All right, so you can see mine. Right there. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hot glue this to our little crate. It's probably best just to put hot glue on the back of my crate. All right, I'm just gonna put hot glue on the back of our little crate here. All right, and then I'm gonna position, I'll leave my little card down. And then I'm gonna line this up just right. I'll let it barely touch it. Okay, push that down on there. All right, so that is hot glued on there. Now that bottom, you see where the my card is, all that excess. I'm gonna cut that off with some scissors, or you could use the um, box cutter. All right, so I got that cut off, nice and clean. Now our little sign right here, you can either just use the glue strips that's already on there, like the sticker, or you can hot glue it on. Let's just see what this looks like. I'm gonna lay this down. I'm gonna try to get this little sign that you are so very sweet centered on here. Look at that. That is so cute. Yeah, I like that it's raised. All right, so there, now I'm gonna take the brown shred from Dollar Tree. I love this. I love to craft and decorate with this brown shred. I'm gonna put some down in here. All right, so now that we got the brown shred, y'all, we are now gonna take the strawberry candies from Dollar Tree. I love these. I use these every year. One, they're delicious because they're strawberry. But look, it looks like a little strawberry. So cute, I love these. These were just in my Dollar Tree haul. 
But we're gonna fill this up with the little strawberry candies. I mean, seriously, <laughs> look how cute that is. I love this. This is gonna look so cute in our kitchen, but it also would make a great gift for someone, especially mom. Ah, I love it. All right, so there's that one. All right, now we are gonna take a heart from Dollar Tree. This is just the crafter square section. Um, if you still have like some Valentine's hearts you can get to, use that. Like I said, this is like year round in the crafter square section. All right, so let me get Riley's mat again. Riley's mat. All right, now I am gonna take bright red apple barrel paint. This is like 50 something cents at Walmart. And I'm gonna use bright red because I have it. You can use any shade of red that you want. All right, really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this whole entire heart red. All right, so now that this is dry, <laughs> and I know you're thinking uh, it's not Valentine's Day, we are gonna use this heart to make a strawberry. So, uh, I got the red. Now I wanna take the white. All right, so now I just wanna add some white polka dots to this. Now I don't have a round like paintbrush, like a dauber, I wish I did, but I'm just gonna use a small paintbrush and I'm just gonna paint some white circles, some polka dots. <laughs> and they don't have to be perfect. <laughs> I guess these will kind of be like the seeds in a way. Just make sure your red paint is totally dry before you start doing this. And do like some little like half ones. You see, I'm kind of doing C's and then a backward C. All right, <laughs> that looks cute. It's very kind of like Minnie Mouse looking. All right, well that's still kind of drying. We are now, I've got these daisies. These are from Walmart and these are left over from our Easter. Like we made some Easter wreaths together, but this bundle right here is from Walmart. Walmart has some beautiful flowers and I love daisies for the spring and summer. All right, so I'm gonna cut this off. That. All right, so I got one of these little stems cut off. I made you two, I'm not sure, but one for now. All right, I'm now gonna take that burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna pinch this right here, kind of make me a little tail. I'm gonna take my ribbon straight down. I'm gonna bend it up towards the back and make one loop. I'm gonna push that up, make another loop. Adjust that. Make sure my loops are about the same size of each other. All right, so now that I just have that loop right there. I'm gonna take um, a pipe cleaner. I wish I had a brown one, but I just have this black one. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna wrap it right in the center. Pull that up. Give my two little tails about the same length of each other and give that some good tight little twist. All right, so I got this burlap ribbon right here. I'm now gonna take this thing of Daisy and then I cut off one more. I'm just gonna kind of put these together just like that. And I'm gonna put the bow right in the center of these two. And then write my pipe cleaners around that and give that some good, tight little twist. Alrighty. I'm going to fluff this. All right. <laughs> Once you finally get everything like fluffed, adjusted how you want it to lay, I'm going to cut off my, my excess tails of my pipe cleaners. Once you get it exactly how you want it, 
just go ahead and just some hot glue. I'm just gonna lift up right there. And I'm gonna put me a bunch of hot glue. And I'm gonna put my bow in it. My whole little bundle right here. I'm gonna push that down in that hot glue. You can always cut off some little single ones and just kind of add them here and there. All you have to do, just take your stem, add your little hot glue to your stem, like right on the edge, on the tip of it, and then just add that wherever you want it to stay. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna a little thing of hot glue to the end of this little stem. And I think I'm gonna stick it like right up here. Move that. It's gonna stick it right down inside there. Okay. Right. I think what I'm gonna do is I have a black paint marker. You can use black paint. You could use puffy paint. But I'm, I'm gonna take this black paint marker. You can get these anywhere. Sometimes Dollar Tree has them in the Crafter Square section. You just shake it. I want to add some little black accents to our strawberry. Um, I think I made you little squiggly lines, like just along the edge. Just kind of here and there. And you see, I'm just kind of going in between my polka dots, too. See, that just adds a little something to it. I almost wonder if like, some of my little white ones kind of do a little bit of black. Yeah, just kind of something like that. Oh my gosh, y'all. These turned out so cute. I love them. Okay, so our first one was this little strawberry little sign. This is so sweet, so cute, so simple. I love this one right here. Yeah. <laughs> and this was the 8x10 size. So cute. 5x7 was, was too small for this card. But I love this one right here. That is so cute. And then this. I and then I just love this one. Look at that. <laughs> and two, this is gonna be so cute sitting in your kitchen or on your desk. Like you go to work or something, have some little candies. That right there, you are so very sweet. That's adorable. I love it. <laughs> and y'all, seriously, the little strawberry candies from Dollar Tree are adorable. Look at that. It seriously looks like a little strawberry. And I am so happy with how this turned out. Yeah, so <laughs> it's supposed to look like a strawberry. But look how cute this is. And I think once it's kind of mixed in with like all my strawberry decor, you're really going to be like, oh, it's a strawberry. But I love this. Um, now, I will say, I, okay, <laughs> let me just say, I wanted this video to be as much Dollar Tree products as possible. But sometimes it's hard because I would have loved to have used like multiple like ribbons on here and did some bigger bows, but I had someone lecture me one time <laughs> and I can see where she was coming from. It's a Dollar Tree wreath that we did together. And let me just say, as much as I love Dollar Tree, I love to craft with Dollar Tree products, they do not have the best ribbon selection. <laughs> I mean, I love them for everything else, but it's been the same old, oh, just burlap, plain ribbons year after year. So I would love if Dollar Tree, especially for the quarter that they raised everything, to give us some better ribbon selections. You know, this two and a half inch wired ribbon, but come on now. <laughs> Dollar Tree, give us some better ribbon to work with. But I love this, that's adorable. All right, let me know which one was your favorite. I, I mean, I just, <laughs> these two right here, I mean, these two right here are just so cute. I love them. And two, if you love like strawberry crafts and decorating, 
We did a strawberry tear tray together. I will link that down below for you. There's some really cute strawberry crafts on there. And then we decorated a whole tear tray with everything that we made. But all right, that is it. A lot more like summer and patriotic and fruit crafting coming up for you. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. All right, I feel like this is missing something. Like I like it, but I don't love it just yet. I'm just gonna take some little daisies that we, we were using. I'm gonna hot glue some of these little daisies on here. Just a little bit of hot glue on the stem. And then just stick it in your little bundle. I went ahead, I made one more of our little bundles, just like that up there. And I think I'm gonna add it down here. I really, I just feel like this just needs something else to complete it. I'm gonna put some hot glue down here in this corner. Just stick my little bundle in it. You know, that's the thing is sometimes you make something, you kind of sit, you look back at it and you realize it needs something else. I'm gonna put some hot glue on the end of this. This little stem right here, I'm gonna stick it down here in this corner. And I'm gonna finish it off with one more of my little strawberries. All right, I love this so much more now. It was just to me, it was missing something. So when you're crafting, when you're done, just kind of sit back, look at it. Cause I knew making it, like I just truly didn't love it just yet. So I went to get Riley from school and the whole way there and the whole way back, I kept thinking, what could I do to this? Add some daisies and another little bow down here. That is so cute. I love this. And I actually kind of thought about too, taking like the black um, paint marker and doing some like little black little squigglies or something like on the side of the white. I don't know, let me know what you think about that. That may be a little too much, but let me know if you think I should add some little black accents to the frame. But I love it.